Hey guys, so today I've got a really fun celebrity inspired look. I was looking at the AMA pictures and I saw this gorgeous picture of Selena Gomez and I wanted to recreate the look for you. So she just had a very sleek hairstyle and then she was wearing this gorgeous like hot pink burgundy eyeshadow look. I love that even though the eyes look very extreme, she just went for a natural lip and very glowy, natural looking skin. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. I'm thinking about creating another look from the AMAs, so if you guys want to see another look, leave it in the comments down below. I was thinking maybe I would create a Gigi Hadid or a Kylie Jenner look, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, leave that in the comments down below, and I hope you guys will enjoy your day, and if you guys do recreate this look, definitely tag me in the pictures so I can go look at them on Instagram or wherever, and I hope you guys will enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. She was just wearing a very sleek, straight hairstyle, so I would recommend, even if you do have straight hair, I would run a straightener over it a little bit, and I do have wavy hair. Hair, so I had to straighten my hair quite a bit and I did it in three sections just to make sure that it was super sleek and I did a center part like Selena did as well. So after you've done your hairstyle, I just wanted to show you quickly how long my hair is growing again. I feel like it completely grew back what I chopped off and I really love how it looks lately. It looks super healthy so I am so excited about that. I just wanted to show you guys and then I'm so excited to be doing this makeup because I pulled out some of my old Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes and then I just applied a eyeshadow base onto my eyes just to prime my eyes and make sure that they were neutralized. Then you can take some tape or like I'm doing you can take a piece of like cardboard paper and just hold that next to your eyes so you can create a very sharp V in your outer corner. Just make sure if you're using a cardboard piece of paper like I'm doing that you don't move it around because obviously that will make it a lot smudgier and messier and you won't get that sharp line. I didn't have any tape on hand, that's why I didn't use any, but you're just going to pack on that eyeshadow. It's kind of like a burgundy hot pink shade. And then I just placed it on there and then I just blended it out each time just to make sure that it didn't go on patchy and just to make sure that it didn't look too harsh. And after that you're going to take also a little bit in the inner corner of your eye and then you're just going to blend that back into the crease. Just to make sure that it's connected but just to make sure that it doesn't look too harsh in that area. You don't want your eye to look like a black eye, you don't want it to look too heavy. Uh, just take your time with this look and then you're going to take some eyeshadow underneath your eye as well and you also will blend that out. Then I took some primer water. This one is from e.l.f. and I just took that scratch shade and I applied this on my eyelid. You can't really see what was on her eyelid but I just went for this pink shade because I thought it was really really pretty and I thought it was a nice addition to the look. So. I went ahead and added that. And then after that I added some eyeliner. You're going to smudge it out a little bit as well and make sure that you put it up on your upper lashes as well. And after that, after you have smudged that out, you're going to add the lashes. This was definitely the funnest part for me. I love these lashes. They're from Kiss and they just feel really lightweight and they are really spiky and really nice looking. Then you're going to fill in your eyebrows. She has really bushy, full eyebrows, so I made sure to do that as well. And then after that, I decided to apply my foundation and my primer, and I just mixed the two together, and then I just applied it all over my face just to make sure that my complexion was very even. She did have a pretty natural-looking face, but she did have, you know, a flawless base to her. And then after that, I'm going to add some concealer as well, and I just added this underneath my eyes and on top of my forehead and on my lip area and basically anywhere I wanted it to look highlighted like she had in the picture. And then I even added a little bit of the Becca Liquid Illuminizer Highlighter just because I noticed that she had a slightly highlighted look. So after I applied that, I just made sure to blend that all out, and then you're going to put a yellow 
powder on top of it just to make sure that it's set in place and really just to highlight that area as much as possible. And then on the rest of my face, I just set it with a little bit of powder. I didn't go too heavy because she did have a very natural glow about her. Then I added some contour. It didn't look like she contoured at all or very much. She does have very defined cheekbones though, so I made sure to contour. And then I also made sure to bronze and I also added a little bit of blush. Again, she didn't go too face she didn't go too heavy on the face products. They looked fairly natural, but I made sure to do them, and they looked a little intense on my pale skin right now, but I really love how they tied the whole look together. And then after that, you're just going to take a nude lipstick. This one's like a nude beige -y color and it's from NARS. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. It's called Raquel and then I just added some lip gloss on top of it. It's just like a baby pink color. You can just add a clear if you want to but basically just add a lip gloss because she had very shiny lips and here's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!